the little things like trash, litter, uh, uh, bums, we offered help, offered to bring them to the mission, not to post up in our community. Tonight, New Orleans City Council member Oliver Thomas is speaking out about what drove him to take matters into his own hands over the weekend. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for watching. I'm Katie Moore. And I'm Sharice Gibson. Thomas posted a video showing him confront two panhandlers on a corner near his house in the east. Paul Murphy reports Thomas said he was just standing up for his community. This is public property. That's City Councilman Oliver Thomas on cell phone video at the corner of Crowder and Interstate 10. He's fed up with litter, loitering, and roadside begging in New Orleans East. This weekend, he collected a mound of trash from a pair of panhandlers. Thomas also confiscated a machete and other weapons from the man and woman. Ain't no sugar cane fields in New Orleans East. There ain't no major agriculture fields along Crowder. What you doing with a machete? What you doing with five knives? Thomas has now adopted the intersection. It's the entrance to his neighborhood. He claims the East isn't getting enough attention from City Hall. It was an unfortunate incident. Uh, if, the, if the city wasn't going to do it, if the police wasn't going to do it, I just felt I had to stand up for, for my neighborhood, my family. Musician Troy Lazarus lives off of Crowder. I pull out my neighborhood and that's the first thing you see. He applauded Thomas's actions. Even though my heart goes out to People that are dealing with different things, but at the same time, I live out here as well. But one commenter on Twitter said the way Thomas handled the situation was counterproductive. Another called him a bully. If somebody want to say I didn't care because I was upset about somebody building trash mounds and disrespect my neighborhood, no, nobody cared more than me. But I care about my family. I care about my neighbors. Councilman Thomas hopes adopting the intersection of Crowder and I-10 will set an example and encourage others in the community to take ownership of New Orleans East as well. Why can't it be beautified, not slumified? Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Thomas says he and his family cleaned up that same corner three times already, and he claims the panhandlers refused his offer to help them.